Communal conservancies in Namibia are located within traditional lands where the natural resources are managed by and for the benefit of the local communities. Safari hunting and nature-based tourism are the dominant income-generating enterprises. Increased Western public opposition to safari hunting is based on the emotional distortion of the truth. Foreign misguided policies have significant negative impacts on community livelihood options. Emotionally charged debates where rural communities' opinions are willfully ignored may ultimately lead to the demise of the safari hunting industry. A biological conservation survey on the viewpoints of 160 residents from 32 communal conservancies that generate livelihoods from safari hunting was recently conducted. Residents were asked their opinion of a ban on safari hunting. 91% were not in favour of the ban. 90% were happy with safari hunting occurring on communal lands because of the benefits provided. 65% stated the ban would deprive them of income and employment. 14% were concerned about the loss of protein. 6% felt human wildlife conflict would increase. Predictably, only 11% would tolerate wildlife on communal lands if a hunting ban was enacted. One in five respondents felt safari hunting was bad, expressing concern for potential wildlife population declines. No concern for the welfare of individual animals was stated. This contrasts the wealthy Western worldview where outrage over the demise of celebratory animals like Cecil the Lion drives policies. Conservancy residents do not support a hunting ban and it would seriously weaken support for wildlife conservation. Safari hunting generates substantial benefits. Between 30 and 75% of trophy fee revenue is used for conservancy management. Safari hunting camps provide employment and the meat from hunted animals provides much needed protein to all community members. Western ignorance of the benefits of safari hunting to local communities will result in foreign conservation policies achieving the exact opposite of the intended effect. That is, a reduction in biodiversity and area under wildlife management. Results from elsewhere in Africa suggest that where tangible hunting benefits are received, local communities are more conscious of wildlife conservation. Imposing policies that remove these benefits will result in negative conservation outcomes. Regulated sustainable use safari hunting is key to protecting Namibia's wildlife outside of its national parks.